Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. Okay, so today I decided uh, that I wanted to do a... Uh, spawn collection video. It's been a couple years since I actually did uh, a collection video of spawn of my spawn figures. I did one back in 2018. Um, so far, I have gotten <laughs> in the past two years, I have gotten a lot more spawn figures. So I figure I show you some of the uh, new new figures that I've added to my collection and also I've sold off some spawn figures as well some spawn figures that really I just wanted to part ways with because I felt like they did they just didn't serve me anymore so if you guys want to see that video uh, a couple years ago with somewhere in my archives if you want to take a look at it you know see some spawn figures that are not in this video that's not going to be in this video but there's going to be spawn figures in this video uh, that you haven't seen that's not in that video. You got it? But most, some, I say about half of these figures you probably have already seen if you've seen my 2018 collection video. So I feel like I'm somewhat complete with my spawn figures because um, I think, I think I've think i reviewed almost every spawn figure known to man, or at least every spawn figure that I've wanted to review. There's a few spawn figures here and there that I want to review, some variants, and also there are some grail figures as well. As far as reviewing all the figures, spawn figures from the 90s, I think, yeah, I think I, I, I took it there. I went there. So what we're going to do, guys, sit back, relax, um, enjoy this spawn video. I got this whole, all this right here is spawn stuff, spawn related, and also I got this spawn, spa, this uh, wall right here. <laughs> this is what happens when you mix spawn and wall together. This spa, this spa right here. Um, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Okay, so here we are, ladies and gents. Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, and I apologize too, if, if the name eludes me, man, it's it's hard to remember all these names, and especially when you're doing a review video as well, a collection video, and you're, and you're naming off all these characters, the name is just going to slip, slip my mind, so I apologize if I can't get all these characters' names. So here is the Melboja right here from the Spawn movie. Um... Actually, you know what? Before we start over here, let's start over here with kind of the vintage figures right here. Um, so this is kind of my vintage wave right here. Of course, I have uh, Trimmer. I have back there. I have Overkill, of course. You guys have seen reviews of him. The original Spawn, Medieval Spawn. The variant of Trimmer, Clown right here. Then we have the giant size Angela. Up above, we have the box version of Spawn 3, which I've done a review of, sold that figure off, and then I decided to buy this figure in box because I got a good deal from for uh, a private buyer, or a private seller, should I say. Here's another figure that I don't know if I'll ever do a, rev a review of because it's still wrapped in it's an original plastic. It hasn't been touched. It's the Spike Spawn, the special edition movie version right here. Don't know with the bats. It's it's pretty much the same spawn figure that I have outside of the box, except he's he's the spiked version. I I have like three different variants of this spawn. So if you guys want to see that, check it out. There's the Mortal Kombat box I saved. I put up here. Um, spawn trading cards. I've done a review of those Chromium trading cards. Uh, check it out. Uh, spawn for your mouse pad. Um, I put up there because I don't have a laptop. Uh, Burnt Spawn, another figure that I'll probably never do a review of because he's still wrapped in plastic and he comes with those uh, hellhounds right there. Very, very awesome Spawn figure. I just don't want to take him out the package. Maybe one day I will, you know, but he just looks good there. If I were to take him out of the package, he would go straight back in there and be put on display anyways, and I just don't feel like... I should take him out for a review, man. I just... Because he's... Essentially, he has kind of the same body 
as this Spawn 3, there's really no difference other than the face sculpt. That's pretty much it. So this is the same body, same everything for this Spawn 3 right there. So if you want to get an idea of who uh, of how he looks, then he this is essentially the same damn figure right there, except he's the hamburger head. Over here to the wall, we have a variant of the hamburger head. This is the blue version, special limited edition hamburger head spawn right here. And then we have Spawn 4 mask version. The reason why I have him in there is because I have the unmasked version already out of package and essentially he's the same damn figure. So that's one of the main reasons why I haven't unboxed a lot of these figures that you guys see in front of you is because they are pretty much the same damn figures that I've already re al already reviewed. They're just different. You know what I mean? They're just a variant. Uh, come down here, we have some of the Series 2 Saigor, uh, Youngblood, um, Bad Rock, and then we have the variant Bad Rock back there, the Overkill uh, 2. Uh, the name eludes me at the moment, I can't remember, but he's a very awesome figure. Clown 2, Shadowhawk right there. And if I miss some figures, I apologize. Some of the K uh, Total Chaos figures, L. Simmons, uh, Quartz. This is Void from Wildcats, I believe. Um, the Poacher. Uh, I forget his name. And Blitz. I, uh, the uh, psh, It's not coming to me right now. <laughs> I, forget, I forget his name. Drop down here. Then we have some of the Spawn uh, classic covers. We have the Blood Axe. And Thunderhoof right here, one of my favorite, favorite figures, pieces ever in my entire collection. Come over to the right, we have the animated Spawn figures, which I still have a few of the animated uh, Spawn figures that I have yet to review, which I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, down here, just some random stuff that's not Spawn related. Down here, we have the Violator Chopper and the Violator right there. Uh, come back all the way up here. So there's the Spawn Malboja, the Mangler, Trimmer, the Art of Spawn, right there. Awesome, awesome statue. Uh, Jessica Priest and Mr. Obersmith. Um, Rainus, the Heap, uh, Mutated Spawn. Um, this is just a gargoyle that lights up. He doesn't go with Spawn, but I put him I put him there because I really like him. He's a Halloween decoration. Uh, Alien Spawn, uh, Mutated Melboja. There's the Halloween uh, Clown. There's the uh, Clown 4, the regular version right underneath the uh, Violator. Behind him, we have the Wing Spawn. Awesome figure hanging. And then come down here, these are just kind of like variants of spawn, uh, different different spawns. So we back there, we have zombie spawn right there. We have uh, curse of the spawn, uh, chapel back there is buried. <laughs> Mandarin, uh, no it's not Mandarin spawn, uh, man, it's not coming to me right now. Um... Jeez, oh, none of this shit is coming to me. Commando spawns, we have all my commando spawns right here. Uh, Samurai spawn, that's that's who he is. Samurai spawn back there, Raven spawn. Uh, I can never remember that guy's name. Gatekeeper, I think he is right there, Gatekeeper. And then we have uh, spawn, movie spawn, unmasked version. Then there's the unmasked version of spawn 4. Pilot spawn, zombie spawn. Uh... <sighs> Man, the name always eludes me, man. Uh, Wings of Redemption spawn. There's the spawn on the throne right there. Pirate spawn. Another variant of Curse of the Spawn. Hatchet. Another Curse of the Spawn right there. Uh, this is my kind of my custom spawn figure. He's a classic cover, but I was missing some accessories, and I just kind of kitbashed him. Redeemer. I'll show you a better... Um, version of this uh, th spawn on the throne right there, if you guys can see him. He's buried back here, man. I should put him on the shelf so he can be seen because he's kind of covered up back there. So there's the uh, spawn on the throne. I think that's the classic cover. So, 
uh, Mandarin spawn right there. And then here's my custom uh, MK11 spawn that I just recently did a review of. Drop down here. Here are some of the like mechanical uh, uh, spawn figures. We have the Curse, um, Future Spawn, Annie. Quit it! I'm doing... What are you doing over there? Quit it! Um, overkill 3. Um, I think that's uh, Cyber Spawn. Um, Top Gun, I believe his name is. Uh, Creech. Uh, Desiccator. Cygor 2. One of my favorite, favorite figures in my entire collection. And then we have Pilot Spawn on the Air Cycle. Drop down to here. Here's kind of my medieval theme going on right here. Uh, so we have Viking Spawn. We have Medusa. If you can see her right there. We have Troll. Um, shh, man. It is not coming to me right now. Uh, the Dark... Is it Dark Knight? Black Knight. One of the ogres right there. Uh, there's Medieval Spawn 3 buried in there. There is... Uh, was it the, psh, man, it is not coming to me, dude. This <laughs> is like, it's hard to remember the, all these names, man. It is not coming to me. There's Count uh, uh, Cogliostro right there. Uh, there was, uh, there's Valkyrie, just did a review of her. There is, um, <sighs> man, oh man, <laughs> it's the names, the names are just not coming to me, guys. There's Medieval Spawn. Um... Back there, there's another ogre. That's the green version right there. You guys can see him. In front of him right here, we have uh, the raider. There, I have a variant of him, the black version, that I have yet to do a review of. I don't know if I'm ever going to do a review of him. There is, uh, I forget his name as well, uh, Skull Splitter. Uh, is it Sabri? Sabri? I can't, I can't, I don't know. There's the other variant of the Black Knight. Or, is it Black Knight? I think it's a Black Knight. Zeus over here, next to him. And then we have the, I believe, the Tormentor right there. Uh, and then we have one of my favorites, Blood Axe. And then behind Blood Axe, you can barely see, uh, you have the, I want to say Cobra King, because that makes the most sense, but I know it's not the Cobra King. <laughs> right there, I can't remember. I can't remember the name. Annie, what are you doing, man? You're interrupting my spawn video. Give me this plastic. What are you doing, bitch? Okay, so there was most of my spawn collection, guys. I, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. I don't want to waste my time. Um, I don't want to waste your time. So here are some other random spawn figures uh, on this wall that really don't go with anything, so I put them on this wall. Um, so... I guess we can go up here, all the way up to the top shelf. We have Shadowhawk, 10th Anniversary, Image Comics, if you can hear me. There's the classic uh, Savage Dragon, which I got from my buddy Nerd Cave Nerds. Down here we have Ripclaw uh, from, uh, man, the name's not coming to me, dude. They're all part of the 10th Anniversary. I really, I really like these figures, even though they are just statues. So, there's Ripclaw. I love this Ripclaw and the Savage Dragon. And the Shadow Hawk is not too shabby as well. So then come down here. Here's the Redeemer. I do believe he's from the Art of Spawn. Um I can't remember. And then underneath Ripclaw right here, we have Oh man, this is the name is the names are not coming to me, guys. When you're you're trying to remember the names, man, when you're doing these videos, it's you're automatically going to forget. And then next to her, we have the Disciple. I can't believe I remember that. <laughs> and the rest of these are just kind of random figures, more McFarland figures. Uh, oh, yeah. And then last but not least, I do have this bottom shelf that I want to show you guys. Uh, it's the Ladies of Spawn right here. So you have Dominia, Tiffany hiding behind Dominia right there. Uh, Necromancer, She Spawn, Lilith. Skull Queen, Tiffany, and then you have Tiffany right here from the Art of Spawn. 
All right, guys, I think I pretty much covered my entire Spawn collection. Like I said, I've, I've sold off some figures. I've also um, added more figures to my collection. So, yeah, if you guys want to check out my 2008 video, um, feel free to check that out. But, yeah, that's my Spawn collection, guys, as of 2020. Tell me what you guys think. My toy room was a mess, man. My next up on my review station is going to be Marvel Le the Marvel Select because I feel like I'm... I just have a few more Marvel Select figures I want to uh, review. And then I'll have my Marvel Select collection uh, good enough to where I can show you my Marvel Select collection. So look forward to that in the future. You guys see my Predator and Alien collection. There's my NECA stuff, my Mortal Kombat stuff. Marvel Legends, I'm not really satisfied yet to sh show you guys a Marvel Legends collection. Um, DC, my DC shelf is a mess up here. But... Uh, I'm kind of making sure that I showed you guys all my entire Spawn collection. So, yeah, that was that, guys. Um, I actually do have about maybe 10 other Spawn figures uh, in my closet uh, that I have to do, still do a review of. So, yeah, look for a future update a couple years from now if I'm still around, if I'm still doing this shit. <laughs> so, there it was, guys. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be adding more Spawn figures to my collection. I still have some space here on this shelf. My medieval shelf is kind of cluttered right now. Um, but everything looks good, man. Everything looks good. My spawn shelf is probably the most neatest of out of all my shelves in my toy room. So I think I showed you all my spawn figures, guys. Tell me what you guys think of my collection. Do you guys think I should add? Uh, what kind of what figures should I add to my spawn collection? Also, on my grail list, I definitely do want to pick up that nightmare spawn. He is on my grail list. The nightmare spawn. Is one of the spawn figures that I really, really want to pick up. So, all right, guys, we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Uh, if you like this little video, give me a likes, thumbs up, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye.